All right. Good afternoon, guys. Um, it's Thursday at 2 p.m. So today is our leisure education class with our center members, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Um, we're just going to give everybody just a few minutes to kind of log on for those that are available um, and want to participate. So let's give everybody just a few minutes. Let's see who we got. Hey, Sally. Hey, Melita. Hey, Pam. I always like it when you guys comment in the comments because then we know that you're watching and we get really excited because we miss you guys. All right. Hey, Steven. I hope everybody's doing well today. I was expecting some more rain today, but there hasn't really been any rain, but it's getting kind of humid today. <laughs> So I hope everybody is enjoying the weather. All right. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. And for those that want to join in later, um, they can join in or watch it later. Well, good afternoon. As many of you know, I'm Kelly Decker, and we are going to be making I Spy bottles today. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the I Spy books. There's lots of different kinds and um, people sometimes tend to also make their own and put in like different pictures of their family and and that kind of stuff but um, growing up my mom made us I spy bottles so what you're gonna need is like a water bottle um, or a mason jar um, or like anything that will have a lid on it that won't come off because you definitely don't want all this stuff going all over the car. <laughs> um, we're going to be making one like a bottle first and then I also do want to let you guys know ahead of time for our visually impaired members that we are going to be making more of a sensory one where um, it won't be in a bottle. Okay, It's going to be more of a touch and feel and figure out by the shape of the object. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Um, okay, so let's get our water bottle. Um, I like water bottles because they don't break. If you wanna use a mason jar, that's totally fine. Um, they've got nice strong lids that go on. Um, I like water bottles because you can take them in the car. They're great for road trips. Um, we used to do a whole bunch of road trips going back and forth to Idaho all the time, 12 hour drive, and we had to figure out some way how to entertain ourselves. Or um, like when the center reopens while you're on the lift or Morton or somebody's driving you, bring your I spy bottle and you can play it while you're in the car. Okay, so you're gonna need a bottle. You're gonna need some rice or beans um, of any kind or lentils um, and then I have just found a bunch of random objects <laughs> in the apartment so this doesn't have to be anything specific you can um, make your bottles specific to like a certain category like sports themed and all your items will have sports or like beach items. Um, my items, I'm calling them quarantine bottles because this is just stuff that I found at home. You know, you gotta be creative and staying active. So bunch of random stuff here, okay? All right, so let's get started. I got my bottle, let me grab. Ugh. I got my nice big bag of rice here. All right, let's see. Okay, so you're gonna wanna dump a few of our items um, inside and kind of layer. So you'll dump a few items in and then put some rice or beans and then a few items and rice and beans and kind of go until your bottle's a little bit full. Um, we're gonna test it out because you kind of want a little bit of space so that when you shake it around, um, your items inside the bottle will move. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hey, Tempest. All right, guys. Let me show you some of the items that I found at my home. So it kind of gives you an idea of what to use. Okay. All right. So I have a hair tie. 
I have a Q-tip, a top of a pen, whoops, an earplug, you know, like the foamy squishy ones, just some thread from my cross stitch. I just cut a little piece and tied ends on it. A pretzel so you can also use food again we have to be creative because we don't like to go to the store all the time a match Oops. um it's it's like, kind of like a floss pick you know when you have braces or like a bar in your mouth and you just pick it through your teeth that's what this is so I just called it a toothpick We got our 90s styled barrette. This was just kind of like an orange piece of plastic string that I just found. So also you can use random items. This is a paper straw that I cut so it's smaller. A red Mike and Ike. A ring, an old Alaskan ring, um, a push pin. So again, if you are gonna make your bottle, it's okay to go ahead and use um, kind of sharp objects like a push pin. But if you're gonna be using the sensory one that we'll talk about a little bit later, you're not gonna wanna put any sharp objects in there because you're gonna be grabbing and I don't want you to poke yourself or draw blood. <laughs> All right, I got these little screw hooks that you like screw into the wall and then it makes a hook on the outside. I've got a key ring, it's kind of tiny. And you can decide how tiny you want your objects. It all depends on you and the size of your bottle as well. So the size of your bottle top will also dictate how big or how small your items have to be. Um, a die. I think it's called a die because it's one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but more than one is dice. I could totally be wrong about that. A candle. You know on the end of your earphones, you kind of got that squishy part that protects your ear? Well, I found one of those roaming around on the floor, so I picked it up. All right, we got some more food, some chocolate chip, a toothpaste cap, a little rock. All right, um, it just escaped my mind. It's a, a bobby pin. I also have one of these little sewing needles, you know, that has like the yellow tip on the end. I've got a penny and a dime. I like to use uh, coins because they're nice to see and they're different colors as well. I got a fish hook, you know, just those little tiny fish hooks, a little tiny screw. All right, what else we got? Oh, yeah, an emoji sticker. And with the stickers, if you use them, don't peel off the sticker because then it will be sticky. And just remember to kind of cut around and leave the back on. So that's what I did. And our last item, oops, where'd it go? Is an earring back. It's kind of tiny. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just, you know, goes on the back of your earring. All right, um, I like to collect all my items in a little plastic bag and I collected them over the week um, because uh, you know, you just find random different items as you're doing laundry or as you're cleaning. Um, I went through a bunch of our junk drawers and our coin bucket, you know, you just throw random things in random places. So if you want over a week or a month or whatever, or a couple days, designate a bag for your i spy bottle and then just collect your items in there 
All right, so now that we got our items out, um, we're gonna grab our bottle. And I learned earlier that pouring rice into the bottle is a little problematic. <laughs> I'll definitely have to vacuum my floor later on. So if anybody has a funnel at home, that would be nice um, to have. So then when you scoop your rice into it, you know, it's big at the top and then funnels down into your bottom. If you don't have it, I don't have a funnel. So I just rolled, starting from the corner of one paper, I rolled um, the paper in like a diagonal way so it kind of looks like a like a long burrito okay and then I stuck one end inside the bottle and let it open up and then you can kind of let the top of it fan out so it's bigger because that's the whole purpose of the funnel is to help you pour the rice in all right, so now we got our funnel. Let's see who else is on. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Mamie. Glad you guys could join us today. All right, so again, you can use rice, beans. Um, you could probably also use noodles um, of various sizes. And again, your bottle doesn't have to be a certain height or um, you can also use like a gallon if you want. It also depends on how many items you have. If you want a lot of items, you can do that. All right, let's get our rice going. We're gonna see if our funnel works here. So we're just gonna dump it in. All right, and then we're gonna take it out. But if you take out your funnel, um, if you or somebody else can just hold it, in its form so that when you put it back in your bottle you don't have to re-roll it so i'm gonna put a few items just randomly um in and then i'm gonna put my funnel back inside my bottle and i'm gonna put some more rice make sure your funnels open at the top again All right, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put some more items just randomly inside. Some more rice. <laughs> if you find that your rice isn't coming out, go ahead and lift your funnel up and it could just be stuck inside. All right, put some more items in. Let's see how many we can fit inside this bottle. Once it gets like shaken up, the items will definitely move around. All right, let's go ahead and add some more rice. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and add a few items. Let's see how this works, guys. We got everything inside. All right, so I left, I'm gonna experiment here with you guys for just a minute. I left a little bit, maybe like half an inch or an inch um, of the top without rice. I'm gonna put my lid on really good. And I'm just gonna shake up my bottle. So you can um, determine if you want more rice or just to kind of keep it at an easier level for you. I think I want a little bit more rice. So I'm gonna add some. Adding more rice will definitely make the I Spy bottle a little bit harder because then there's less space for the items to move around in. 
But one good thing is that you can always take the rice out if you so desire. All right, so I'm gonna put my lid on nice and tight. All right, so that is our rice filled I Spy bottle. And every item that I put into this bottle, I also wrote on a little uh, piece of paper. So if you want, let me move this down. If you want, you can actually tape the, the paper to your I Spy bottle so that you know what's in your bottle. Or so that if somebody else uses your bottle, they know what's in it. So I have double-sided tape right here. If you don't have that, that's totally fine. You can even glue your paper onto your bottle. Um, so I'm just gonna put it right there. And you don't have to, again, because by putting the paper onto the bottle, it's also going to limit your visibility on your bottle, you know, because you can't see through the paper. So it's, it's gonna make less for you to see. But I like it because then I remember what's in there. So my lid's on nice and tight so that rice doesn't come out. My label is on there. And so I know what's in my bottle because sometimes you may not find every item every time. Um, so let's go ahead and shake it up. I think I wanna maybe dump out a little bit of rice. Okay. All right, so see? Um, there's the string and there's our orange piece. What else do we see, guys? And I like to kind of shake it while it's laying down horizontally um, because then your items, see, sometimes come to the top. So I see the earplug right there, nice yellow neon green color. What else? Oh, there's the bottle cap or the, the pen cap. And you just shake and you can also look at the bottom. Don't forget to look at the bottom because there's sometimes some items hiding in there. All right, there's the toothpick. So I really liked these growing up. So these are great for gifts as well. You can definitely make them more fancy or um, more nice, you know, for a gift. That's why I recommend if it's for a gift, you use like a mason jar um, you can get creative and put like a little ribbon around it and hot glue it. Um, if you want your paper that has all of your items on it, if you want it a little bit smaller, you can also type it up on the computer um, at a smaller print and that would be helpful. Um, or you can also put it on the bottom, whichever you guys prefer. So there's my road trip slash I'm bored. I need, I've been watching too much TV and need to do something else. A uh, bottle of I Spy, okay? All right, guys. Um, we're gonna move on to our sensory I Spy for our individuals um, that have some eyesight problems or that are visually impaired. Um, I wanted to also include them because this is a great game as an individual um, or a game with friends or with family once we get back to being unquarantined. <laughs> All right, so what I have, you can do this many different types of ways. These are just some of the ideas that I came up with. So I have a cookie sheet and it's got some rice and then I've also got a different bag um, of items. So if you do this more of the sensory um, I spy you can do bigger items because not all of my sensory items would fit into my bottle But you can definitely use all of those smaller items. That's totally fine Let's see All right, okay um, Also, 
If you don't want to do it more on a cookie sheet, you can eat. also do it. I kind of like the idea more of doing it in a bag or a box. I didn't have a shoe box laying around, but a shoe box would actually work really well. Or um, kind of like a small, um, like a gift box or something, or even like a gift bag. You know how kind of they're, they're not quite this big, but they're a little bit smaller. So those would be nice size as well, because you could also take those on the road or take them, um, you know, when you go to the park um, or on a walk or something when you sit down and rest. But we're gonna use this giant big bag today. Um, and you can put some rice inside if you want. Um, I'm not gonna put the rice inside the bag, but I will dump out my items into the bag. And I'll show you guys a few of those. So the sensory ones, again, I did some string. I did a sock, a foam paintbrush, a spoon, a hair tie and a Q-tip, just like before, the lid to a mason jar, um, just like a, a plastic wrapper or plastic bag. A little piece of wood a rock these are kind of like snack clips you know when you open a bag of chips and you clip it so I'll put one of those in an earplug a bottle cap a pen or a sharpie a balloon and then here's that oh I do have a chocolate chip again one more chocolate chip another toothpick and these I use these for maybe you guys can see that I use these for my thread for um, cross stitching and you wrap your thread around it so that you know your thread doesn't get all twisted and knotted. So we'll put one of those in. I really like the sensory bag I spy because it's awesome for touch and sensation and feeling all the different types of textures. Um, because if you remember when we put into our bag, like the balloon is gonna have more of like a, a plasticky feel, smooth, and versus the wood. Um, or like a bottle cap. And just remember, don't put any sharp objects into your sensory eye spy because I don't want you guys to stab yourself. All right, so with this, you know, you just set it on your lap or um, if somebody else is holding it and you put your hand in and you just kind of mix things around and, and pull something out and if I have a little bit of bad eyesight um, in whatever form or fashion that is, this is a great way to, here, I'll look up to mimic that. So let me just feel around and I'm gonna feel with my hands what I, you know, what you feel, kind of squeeze things, maybe try to see if they bend. Um, so I can tell by my touch and my fingers that this has a foamy top with like a plastic hard handle. So from painting or, you know, working with Sally, you know that this is a foam brush. So let's find something else, guys. What else is a good one? Oh, okay. So let me feel it kind of go all over and see, you kind of want to see how the material moves or the object that you found moves. So I know that this is kind of stretchy um, and I know that there's one side that has an opening. And to me, that would remind me of a sock, okay? 
If you're also doing this with somebody else, you could ask them and be like, is this a sock? Or, you know, is it something else? So our next item, I know that it's a circle shaped and that it's elastic. So I would either say like a rubber band or a hair tie. And this one, definitely much more coarse. Um, depending on the wood, you might be able to feel the grain from it. Um, so I know that it's hard and it's not bendable. All right. So those are just some of the, the items that I put into our I Spy sensory bag. Um, and again, you can put any kind of items you want in it. The bigger your bag or your box, the more you can put into it. If I had a shoe box, I would definitely put some rice in there mixed in with your bigger objects because I like to feel the different textures um, and I like to hunt, kind of like Easter egg hunting. You know, you like to hunt for those objects. Um, so those, those are our I Spy uh, different activities for you guys. I hope that you guys are all doing well and staying active as much as possible um, with social distancing. Um, let us know what types of items you put into your ice buy bag or bottle. Um, we'd like to know, you know, everybody has different things at home. This is also a great way to do something different. You know, if we've been sitting at home for a while watching TV or, or doing some art or something and you want to get up and move around, go get up, move around and find some objects for your ice buy project. So I hope you guys had fun. Let us know some of the objects that you're putting into your bags and let us know how you're doing. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we miss you and we love seeing your comments. So keep them coming. Uh, stay centered, stay well. And until we meet again, thanks guys. Enjoy your weekend.